What's up guys? Welcome to another live text demonstration. This is the video series where I show you guys how to come up with a perfect text in real time and how to handle various situations that arise when you're messaging with a girl. So in this one specifically, we're going to take a look at my Bumble, which I haven't checked in weeks. And we're going to go through how do you, you know, re-engage those conversations that may be dead because you haven't responded. How do you get conversations going that have stalled out simply due to the girl not responding? And we're going to go through all of that and show you guys how to come up with some really good fucking texts. Alright, so the context here is that about a month ago, Bumble decided to randomly delete my account, despite me being a premium motherfucking member. So I recreated an account on a new phone, this is one of actually my old iPhones, and I basically just paid for the premium version and told my roommate to fuck around with it, right? So that's really all, and I barely checked this thing since then. So we're gonna go through this in real time. First, let's take a look at my profile for anyone who's curious. So first solid picture of me, then we got the bio, 60 Miami. My passion is traveling around the world and seductively whispering Russia in your ear. Strengths being dominant, BDSM, cracking inappropriate jokes and cuddling. Weaknesses created ass and accents. Again, we got more good photos of me, uh, me pouring some wine. Uh, me just chilling, looking like a boss as always, me barbecuing, and of course, Rhaegar. Uh, where after working, find me in the jacuzzi. So pretty straightforward, this is stuff I've already talked about in other videos. Let's get to the good stuff, which is the messaging. So, and again, to be fair, this is definitely far from optimal because there's 31 girls that I haven't even swiped on, so that's definitely suboptimal. But let's go through these you know, one by one and point out the key ones. So this is a chick who I've been, uh, uh, I guess my roommate was messaging for me, she says hi. He says, hey, troublemaker. Uh, she says, that's me totally. How's your day going? I sa she says, amazing. Just finished up a big parkour. Looking nice and fit for our date. <laughs> it's pretty funny because parkour is something I would never do with my little derp neck. She says, I like that perfect. Where do you live? In Brickle, what about you? So extremely simple. Basically, the advice I gave my roommate is, yo, forget about all the gamey stuff. Just be as simple and straightforward as possible. You know, a few lines of flirting here and there and move things forward. And I'll take care of the rest over text. So she gives me her location, perfect for our romance to blossom, haha, ha, crazy, exactly, do you like wine, is my favorite, good, we should split a bottle sometime soon, for sure, how long you been single, it's really the only question she asks, about a year now, and what are you looking for now, a cool girl I have chemistry with, what about you, which is a very safe answer, wow, that took two days, haha, ha, same, <laughs> uh, he just says, glad we're on the same page, do you like wine, so you don't have to address that, like, you can just kind of brush past it, a lot red wines, Let's give it another shot and split a ball sometime then. Sounds great. What evenings are you free next? I'm going, I'm going to know tomorrow yet. Sounds good. Show me your number for romance arrangement purposes. She says, haha, I love flowers. And then because I just forgot to text her, uh, she says, I'm still waiting for the romance arrangement purposes, LOL. So that's the power of sometimes taking your sweet ass time. And then today I got the phone, I texted her, and within five, 10 texts, we locked down a date for uh, next week. So super easy, super straightforward. This is a chick who uh, <laughs> I've matched with multiple times on different dating apps, and while she is very attractive, she's also very, very crazy. Uh, so we're gonna skip her. I have no interest of uh, hanging out with her. Uh, so here was just, uh, she opens me, pretty strong, you're Russian. I actually never thought I'd meet an attractive Russian guy in Miami. There's a first for everything. Again, there's a lot of power in being straightforward. Well, look who responded. I always forget to follow with this. My DM me on IGs better. I'm not interested in doing IGs, so I'm gonna say, uh, 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 of course, babe. Something like, of course. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I'm not on G much. On IG much. Do you have WhatsApp? So, yeah. I, I'm really not a fan of moving things to IG, uh, especially when it's not necessary. Uh, simply, I don't have the time for that. And those are less likely to lead to a date. So I'd rather just get her phone number. Uh, so, bam. Easy. Let's keep it moving. So this is a chick, I guess, that he didn't respond on. Oh, because she's not my type. Okay, not a problem. Uh, moving forward. Hey there, I was waiting for you to message me. Wow, where are you now? Sorry for the delay. I haven't checked back on this in a few, in a few days. Uh, so I'm going to say, it's cool. You can, I guess, you'll have, it's cool. Um, you'll, you, you can make it up to me on our date. Even though it doesn't really logically make sense because I haven't checked this in like a week either, uh, that's okay, you can still say stuff like that. Make it up to me on our date. So again, you're gonna see that I'm using a lot of the we frame, right? Like our date, our hangout session, right? It's a lot of we frame type of stuff. I'm trying to avoid the boring interview questions like, oh, so what do you do for fun? You know, blah, blah, blah. Just make it a little bit more, you know, kind of like that. And again, just always moving things forward.
Hey, if you guys are finding value from this video, then make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. All right, back to the video. Uh, okay, so I guess this chick is not my type, so that's why the conversation expired, so we'll... Uh, Hello there. Hey, Troublemaker. How are you? I'm sorry for delay. I'm not a fan of this chat. If you want, we can go for WhatsApp. So a lot of these tricks are just moving forward, you know, escalating on me. And again, that's the advantage of having good profile photos. So I always talk about if you're struggling with text game, it starts with the photos. If you want, we can go for WhatsApp. Uh, neither am I. I can say neither am I. Shoot me your WhatsApp for romance arrangement purposes again that's a little bit i don't even have to say that because just say show me your whatsapp but this just adds a little humor to this uh okay moving things forward uh so this is a chick you again oh well of course we should get it right this time so i guess the chick who i talked to i guess so so that's whenever you match with a girl again i always say like kind of playfully reference that so when she says oh we match again i'm like yes but we need to do better this time right because clearly if that's the case and you guys haven't met yet i guess so I'll, uh, yeah how's your wild weekend going weekend was fun uh we so i'm just gonna say we should make the next one even funner again we frame and also moving things forward next one even funner And the advice I would give, if you have to choose between two extremes, one is being the guy who just beats around the bush endlessly and takes forever to get to the point, and one is the guy who goes for the, you know, for the close too fast, you definitely want to be in the second category. You're still going to have more success just going, being super aggressive going for the close than you are just beating around the bush endlessly. So that's what I always say. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's see what kind of trouble he's in here. Uh, hey, how are you? Amazing. Just finishing up a big workout. Looking nice and fit for our days. Oh, nice. Aha. How was your weekend? Was pretty intense. How about you? Aha. Why was it intense? So that's a good way to bait girls. So he learned well from me. Intense gym workouts to keep me nice and fit for our date. Aha. Mm -hmm. How's your taco Tuesday treating you? It was good, although I didn't have any tacos. Amazing. Spent time with my husky. Enjoyed my jacuzzi. This only thing was missing was a bit of her name. Oh, how cute. How old is your husky? He's two and he says he's excited to meet you. Oh, I'm sure he's adorable. So what's happening here is he's trying to basically move things forward and she's just going sideways. How's your saucy? So he, he's not, this is a little subpar in his part. Uh, instead of asking about her Saturday when she said, oh, I'm sure he's adorable. Uh, I would have said, uh, uh, you, yes, you'll have to find out firsthand. I would have just, again, kept moving things forward. I wouldn't have said, you know, ask her about her Saturday again because now it's kind of just going sideways. Saucy, yes, I don't know what that means. So now it's kind of in a weird spot. Uh, uh, I would say it means, how's your, <laughs> I don't even know how to fucking follow up with this. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> it means uh, how excited <laughs> are you to meet, <laughs> it means how excited are you to meet Rhaegar. I mean, I could just deflect and just move it in that direction. It's not really the most optimal text. So now you're kind of getting a look at my thought process. When I'm kind of stuck, I just kind of write out a text and I see how it sits. I let it sit for like 10, 20 seconds. So she says, how's your sauce? Sa saucy? Yes, I don't know what that means. Um, uh, okay, actually, I came up with something better. I'll be sure, I'll tell you, don't worry. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this. So that's why it's important not to be in a rush to just send out the first text that comes up to your mind. I'll tell you all about it on our date. I'll explain. All right, I'll explain. Yeah, something like that, or I'll explain on our date. I'll, yeah, again, if there's a way I can make this simpler, I'm going to go with that. I'll explain on our date, shorter and more succinct, okay? Keeping it moving. Yeah, and also, you don't want to get stuck on one girl. Like You just want to just go through these. Volume is going to be key here. So, what's going on here? She sends him a smiley face, he just sends her a smiley face back. So that's a funny little troll text. She says, hey, how's your wild weekend going? Play volleyball, not too wild. Oh nice, I do love a girl who's nice and fit. Aha, that's me, but not always nice, don't worry. The spice will be essential for our romance, law of romance. Yes, unless you prefer a more platonic relationship. I wouldn't have said that. Um, she says, no, but it's been several weeks, wouldn't really call it romance, more like a sentence X. Uh, oh, because I guess she's referring to the fact that not responding. Uh, sh I'm not really active on this app. Show me your number so that our romance can blossom rather quickly. And she just gives her Instagram. I'm going to say, I'm going to call her out on this. That's an interesting 
number you got there. You got <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to play her game. Bam, playfully call her out. Okay, keeping it moving. Uh, so I was making sure you messaged me. Hi. Uh, so she really doesn't say much, so I'm going to say, a woman of many words I see. Again, playfully calling her out. Bam, keeping it moving. Uh, hi, yo, sex Starburst. Hey, how's it going? So again, this is just standard stuff. Good. Just uh, finished up a big workout. Looking nice and fit for our date. And let's do one or two more to really drive this point home. Um, okay, this one looks like it's a little bit stuck. Hi, I was waiting, waiting for you to message me. Were you now why? Because we're each other's types. Uh, again, here I would just hit her with a takeaway or not. Bam, easy, simple. So what do you do when your thermostat's set to add when you go to sleep? 69, so 70, lol. I'm really not sure where she's going. Um, I'm going to say, nope, 69.9 on the dot. I'm just like kind of a little troll response. And let's do one more. So, hey, how are you? Amazing. Just looking at sucks you live in Miami. Haha, ha. I guess she's somewhere far away. And what am I going to do here? I'm probably going to try to game her and get her to fly out. And then maybe I'll come visit her. No, I'm just fucking around. There's nothing you can do in a situation like that. I'm just going to ask her, are you coming back? Bam, again, keeping things nice and simple. Let's do one last one. Uh, we'll take this one. Okay, a pool, a pool jacuzzi or your bath jacuzzi. I have both, my love. Yeehaw. Do you, so she's referring to my uh, prompt. Do you, have, do you like wine and huskies? Wine and all dogs. This is my nugget. Huh. I feel like Rhaegar could eat that dog. Cute, almost as adorable as the owner. We should split a ball sometime soon. Don't have to ask me twice. Good, what evening, sir, if you're next? I don't know, but it's not as soon as you'd like, but I'm free Friday. Well, it's already past Friday, so what kind of things are you going to whisper in my ear? Uh, uh, the, uh, very, <laughs> uh, what kind of things? Naughty things. No, actually, I'm going to troll. I'm going to say very innocent things. Very innocent things, of course. So it, sometimes it's better to just uh, use sarcasm so I could have said very naughty things, but that has potential to cause anti-slut defense. I can get the same exact point across by saying very innocent things, of course, without really risking of triggering anti-slut defense. So same exact point gets across, but it's just a safer way of saying that. So I'm gonna say that. Um, uh, just seeing your message. Uh, how about next week? Bam. Moving things forward. Just seeing, I'm just gonna add, just seeing your message now, just for, uh, to make it make more sense. Bam, easy peasy. All right, hopefully you guys found this breakdown valuable. The two takeaways that hopefully you guys picked up on here is one, use the Wii frame, it's very powerful. It creates a nice fun, you know, it's just me and you type of dynamic. And the second thing is just move things forward. You don't have to, you know, get stuck on each text, come up with a perfect response. You just want to be moving things forward in each message. If you're going to learn anything from texting, it's that you have to be the one that moves things forward. The biggest mistake guys make is they just dilly dally and they get stuck or they become too gaming. So just by being short, succinct and moving things forward, as I keep saying, you're going to be in the top 5%. All right, show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe and clicking the bell for notification. You can really show your support for this channel and then you're enjoying this content by subscribing and telling a few of your friends to do so as well. We're trying to hit 100,000 subs in the next few months, and once we do that, the sky's the limit. Thank you guys for watching, until next time.